Thank you, Madam Chair. Appreciate this. Appreciate being in this hearing. Uh, Mr. Anthony, I want to sort of talk to you a little bit about municipal uh, municipal finance running uh, 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 running local governments. I'm very blessed uh, to represent Collin County, Texas, and we have some very successful uh, cities and our county is, is very well run. Uh, we have some of the safest streets, some of the best schools. I think it's a, it's a testament uh, to the people in our community who consistently elect competent leaders who then in turn run fiscally conservative uh, cities, counties, school districts. Uh, and as such, uh, not only are our taxes low, but we keep decent reserves uh, in our local governments. And so when COVID-19 came, uh, we watched a, a, a modest drop in municipal revenues uh, and the CARES dollars that went to the Collin County government, actually, which is Collin County has about a million people, so it got us a direct uh, CARES dollar contribution. That money was then distributed to the cities and the cities actually went ahead and distributed that to the citizens. So I've heard a lot of talk here today about rental assistance. Rental assistance actually came from the cities to the citizens, right? So no need for federal because the cities and the county could actually go ahead. They were in good fiscal shape. They were well run fiscally. They could actually go ahead and help their citizens. Um, and, you know, I remember being uh, visiting the Allen area uh, food center, food bank, which is our food. It's a food pantry in Allen, Texas, and they had gotten a $10 million um, uh, grant from Collin County. The, the county government gave them $10 million to help feed people. Um, but that was possible because the county was well run. It had the resources, it had gas in the tank. And so as we talk about CARES dollars, more CARES dollars uh, going to cities, what, what I'm kind of concerned about is that my cities and my county have been well run. Uh, and I'm worried that you're talking about taking money from my voters uh, and giving it to other places that were not well run, because those are the ones that where taxes were high. And so they're more likely to have a revenue uh, revenues drop off very quickly uh, and where they didn't have money in the bank uh, and they were unable to handle the problem in front of them. And so uh, and so how, how would you tell me how should we think about this to be sure that we're fair? Um, to people that, that did a good job, that, that, that had money in the bank, that, that were well run, Mr. Anthony, what, what would you, how, do you how, how should we think about this problem? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Congressman Taylor, for that question. I think um, I start from a place of assumption that municipal leaders are responsible, that they, in fact, have to balance their budget based upon uh, the tax base that they have. And perhaps in your county region, there is a very diverse and perhaps the, the wealth of that uh, county may be a little different than some other uh, counties and cities. So my assumption is that, again, local governments do manage their uh, budgets. The other thing I'll say is that the, your description of how the CARES Act dollars came into the state, into the county, and then in fact shared with the city is a story that we want to happen all over America, but it has not happened that way all over America. And in fact, the fact that your county was able to get the CARES Act dollars and then, uh, uh, then provide them to the nonprofits is the way we want it to happen. The fact that we want, the thing that we want to, to stop is having to argue with counties and states to get the money. We think that your mayors in your county, in your district should get direct dollars. So I commend your county leaders and say that all of our leaders attempt to be good stewards of dollars. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. And obviously, I feel very fortunate. And I'm very proud yeah. of, of the leaders in my community. Uh, and it is it is a team effort to build uh, Collin County into a really, really terrific county. And uh, it has been humbling, uh, to say the least, to watch the struggles. And they're very real, very personal struggles uh, yeah. that individuals in my county have confronted. You know, the, the single working mom that just lost her job that's trying to find toilet paper uh, and getting that phone call. It's, it's, it's a very hard, very humbling phone calls that, that we've had as leaders. But I'm proud of what we've been able to do to step up. And I appreciate uh, your thoughts on this subject. You'll back. And I'm proud of you as well. Thank you. 